Good morning, I'm Echo and today I'm going to show you how to make grilled salmon paprika with mango salsa. Your eyes will feast on this colorful dish. It's light and refreshing. It's absolutely delicious. So let's get started. Good morning! Welcome to Akka's Kitchen! To make this beautiful salsa, you will need one ripe mango. You can peel it and dice it, or you can follow this technique that I've learned from my mother. I find doing this much easier and convenient. Just be careful not to cut yourself. We will also need some bell pepper. You can use red or yellow for this recipe and finely dice it. We'll also need some cilantro, finely chopped. We'll need some red chilies or jalapeno, finely chopped. We'll need some red onion or shallots, also finely chopped. One lime, olive oil, and salt and pepper to taste. The procedure is quite simple. Just combine all the ingredients in a bowl. Add some salt and pepper. Add a little bit of olive oil. Squeeze some lime juice. And then combine all the ingredients together. Mix them well. And then you can cover it and place in the fridge to chill. For the salmon seasoning, prepare 1 teaspoon of chili flakes, 1 teaspoon of paprika, 1 half teaspoon cumin, 1 half teaspoon garlic powder, 1 half teaspoon onion powder, 1 8 teaspoon cayenne pepper, 1 8 teaspoon ground white pepper, several grades of freshly ground black pepper, and half a teaspoon of sea salt. Combine them all together and set aside. Now take the salmon fillets and make sure that they've been washed and dry. Sprinkle with salt and pepper and coat them with the seasoning. Drizzle with a little bit of vegetable oil and then rub everything into the skin. Repeat seasoning on the other side. Heat the grill pan over medium-high heat. Add some vegetable oil. And when the oil is hot enough, place the salmon on the grill. Cook for about 3-5 to five minutes. You can adjust the temperature if needed so the salmon doesn't burn. And then, carefully flip the salmon and cook for another 3 to 4 minutes or until cooked through. You can reduce the temperature as needed. Grilling time may vary depending on the size of the salmon fillets. It's important to keep an eye on the salmon and do not overcook. Transfer the grilled salmon into a serving plate and it's time to put some mango salsa on top. I will share with you the complete list and measurement of the ingredients on the description below. We love this recipe. I hope you'll try it and let me know how it turns out. Serve warm and enjoy!